Hey, thanks for uh, joining us this weekend at church. And uh, this is my wife, Kim, and I'm Dave. And together we get the privilege of leading this great C3 church here in the central BC. We just want to tell you a little bit about ourselves and about the church and what we see as a church. So we've got five statements uh, about our church that we've developed over the last few years that uh, just help define who we are. Uh, the first one is that our pursuit is God. We want to be constantly focused on the fact that God is, is the reason we exist. You know, you can get other things in your priorities, but um, you know, pursuing God's it. So our worship is to find God's presence. The word, we want to get people towards God. Jesus said that uh, if you seek first the kingdom of God, then all those other things will be added to you. I think there's a lot of pressure on churches today to pursue a lot of things other than God, to be something maybe that they've been uniquely called to, but we've been uniquely called. And we want to pursue God. Right. The second thing that we're going to say, that we say about our church is that our purpose is discipleship. We want to be a disciple-making church. That's the reason we exist, to make disciples, to help people become more like Christ. And, and, and really, if I could make, maybe say it a different way, it's, it's, we want to just step in with people on their spiritual journey and keep walking with them as they become more and more like Christ, that that's, that's really what discipleship is about. Because the last thing he said to his followers was, make disciples. So, you know, the last thing somebody says has got to be really important. Third thing is? Our context. Our context. Our context is the community. Everything that we talk about, pursuing God, making disciples, all of that happens in a certain context. And that context is community. That context is relationship. Which really is about doing life together. Absolutely. And that means sharing the ups and downs. That means sharing our successes you and bet. our failures together. And knowing that ultimately we have a purpose that's why we're here and God has a purpose for each of our lives and it's to live a life bigger than what a lot of voices around us would yeah. say that we could live. And so we just want to be able to encourage each other to be the best they can be. And we live in a pretty individualistic society where, where we can get really self-centered. And community helps us to understand that we are in fact doing this together. Jesus taught his disciples to pray. He said, uh, pray our Father which is a really powerful thing because it means that, that we're doing this together. The, the fourth statement that we make is that our focus is unchurched, non-churched, and previously churched people. You know, if we're going to make disciples, we're not just making disciples of Christians, we're just helping people on their journey. We're helping people who, who maybe don't have a relationship with God yet, they don't have a relationship with Christ. We want them to feel comfortable in our service, so our music is designed that way. Our, our language is designed that way. The way we talk, we, we want to make sure that, that, you know, even if you don't call yourself a Christian, that you're still going to be able to come to church and get something out of it. And then there's the other group of people that we uh, focus on, which is the previously church, because we realize that there's a lot of people who've been heard or for whatever reason, they've gotten disconnected from church and, and maybe, you know, kind of hardened towards it, you know, because they've been or hurt. Even indifferent. Indifferent. Just indifferent. And, even. And you know, we, we invite you to come because we're not promising that you're not going to get hurt here or some things aren't going to kind of rub you the wrong way because they will. But, the, but what we want to focus on is saying, hey, this is a place where you can heal and you can become whole and that you can learn to be a healing person, almost like self-healing. I love that term self-healing or disease resistant. Our fifth statement is that our flavor is fresh and raw. When you come into the church, it's not going to feel like everything else. It's not going to be stale. Uh, the music's going to be new. The, the word is going to be new. The sense of God's spirit's going to be fresh. And then it's going to be, there's going to be a raw element to it. Um, not too polished, huh? Not too, well, we, we do want to do things excellently, but the reality is, is that uh, more important than doing things ex excellently, we want people to be themselves. Um, I want to give people an opportunity who, are, who haven't achieved you know, greatness in a, in a capacity to be able to become great. And they have to have a place where they can learn and grow and that they can... We can never empower amateurs if all we're ever doing is promoting professionals. So, so those five things, our pursuit is God, our, our purpose is discipleship, our context in which all that happens is community, our, our uh, focus is unchurched, non-churched, previously church people, and our flavor is fresh and raw. So hey, we want to thank you again for uh, taking the time to watch the video, to learn a little bit more about our church. Thanks for visiting one of our campuses, and we really hope we see you again sometime soon, and you just have an incredible uh, God-filled week. <laughs>